Sometimes folks from foreign states misunderstand our pride. I guess if you weren't raised here, it's hard to see our side. It's about independence. It's about honor. It's about the land. It's about making your own way in life and being your own man. Our forebears stood tall in Gonzales and answered when tyrants came with a shot from their little cannon filled with horseshoes, nails, and chain. Morning fog broke over the Guadalupe and the Mexicans demanded the gun. They got Sarah DeWitt's come and take it flag, waving proudly in the sun. And those men who died at the Alamo, outnumbered 20 to one, they left a legacy for us to live up to. It's passed down from father to son. Was it legend and myth that Travis drew that line in the Texas sand? Well, those legends and myths remind us that there comes a time when you take a stand. The settlers who came to Texas, they knew when they left their home, they'd chosen a life of hardship, but they wanted a place of their own. Texas was heaven for men and dogs and hell on horses and women, it said. Now our women are independent and strong and better horses haven't been bred. I can't tell you where we're headed. Things are changing way too fast. The young folks are becoming homogenized. They're losing touch with their heritage and past can only hope that there lies somewhere deep in their soul an ember still aglow that burst into flame when they hear God bless Texas or remember the Alamo. Oh, we might tell a windier for you and some folks would say that we brag, but you know, you can raise it anywhere on earth and they recognize our flag. So when they scorn or condescend, speak up, set them straight. Be proud that you're from Texas, the sovereign Lone Star State.